Hello, fans. We I got chat going on here. Yes. Okay, now, um... Okay. Um let's see, close that. My profile. Um a lot of people oh yeah, not a lot of people really, but I know a lot of people will probably when it gets more popular. Wonder how I do these picks of turning like my like people like in the Kirby's and I get a lot of requests for those and I do them. And this is gonna be two I've done so far, but it's not starting to actually take requests for them. And um, yeah, I'm going to show how I make these, um, very easily. It's not like my Kirby tutorial I did a long time ago. This, actually, is a little easier, actually. It's a better method for making special Kirbys. Um, I'm just going to make a basic one, just to start us. Um, what you do is you color black, like you should, for an outline. Make the thickest lines and circles, outline only, and just draw a circle in this thing, a perfect circle, and there you go. You pretty much draw on a Kirby, and you can do whatever you want to it. Um, yeah, now, right here is when you start everything. Um, your, I call it like the base of design. Now, change your color to any other color that you're not going to use. Um, I suggest um, a shade of gray. Because you won't use this four shades. There's obviously one you're not going to use. Um, then go to the bendy lines, thick still. And now you pretty much build off it. Um, I might do a tails Kirby, so I'm going to move this over to the right a little bit. Okay. Um, for example, the like right here, I can do this. Um, this is how I. Do like a little like I don't know what you'd call that. Uh, oh, put it right. I can't do it wrong. The fans want this stuff the most. Okay. So yeah, don't worry about going over your lines and crap you have. Um, because... Oh, crap, that was wrong. Um. What you're going to do is right-click with... Make everything inside the gray lines white. Um. I'll just delete that little bit up there. And then you click and make everything black. Um. Like so. And how I did not do that right, I don't know. Um, but yeah. And I'm going to edit, undo, undo, undo. Okay. Let's do this right. It's that color, right? Yeah. That's how I do it. There we go. I'll do it wrong for a minute there. And... There. That's a good example of how to get the little... Like, like fluff on your head, like you're doing like Sonic characters and crap. Um, there we go. I'll consider that good enough. And um, you want you might you might want to use the right color here, but uh, I'm gonna have to get to that part right away. Let's get back to the. Outlines. I'm not done with those yet. That's not good enough. No, it looks like a. That's not right. That's not right. Let's extend this a little bit so I have room to draw. Yeah, you want to have lots of room if you're doing something like this. Like, okay, and then you take your gray lines and you just let it kind of f be free. If you know what I mean. It's not good enough, but yeah, that's how I draw it. That's not good. I think if I drew it from the other side, it would look a little bit better. 
Let's look at this. Oh, duh, that's why it doesn't look right. That's more like what it looks like there. And then I'll just color this all in like that. And then if you screw up a, like the end like that, um, just do this. Or not that, no. No, I don't want to look too curved, but... Yeah. Yeah, so that looks better. And then I color it in. And now it's a little bit more like a what I wanted to draw. And and then I'll just since this part right here isn't really that important to like avoid anything like the color over, I can just color this in, in black. And there. And then you just do that. And there we go. And that's how I drew, drew it. Things. I could draw them flying, but that wouldn't be as cool. Okay, so that should be about all the uh, special stuff you should draw on him. Now you want to get the right color. I'm going to give him something between yellow and orange, kind of darker, like that. That's about perfect. Yeah, right there. That's that's about perfectly it. That's right on there. Maybe a little darker wouldn't hurt, but because it looks a little darker and the screens on everyone else looking at, but for me it looks really bright. So that's a little better. That's like perfect. Okay. Yeah, through my iPhone, it looks to me it looks like classic, but through my other ones, it looks like as up to now, like color. Um, if anyone knows what I mean by that, um, yeah, you don't have to give them, like, the facial effects unless you really want to, like, I don't really think you need to, um, but I will, um, give them like that, like that, see, that's why I don't usually do a facial effects to it, I'm not gonna do it, yeah, that's perfect, and then, And then you do that. Uh, your face, any kind of face will work. Anything you think looks Kirby-ish, so they can depict them. Hee <laughs> hee. And I'm actually gonna look up. Oh, this is hard. Just I'm gonna see what color his eye shine to be, cause yeah, I pick a bluish color, I guess. So there we go. That's what I usually do if you can't don't know what color to use for eye shine, like for your Kirby. And then you just gently give it like a thing like a smiley face in the in the bottom of his eye. Every Kirby has that, so you gotta come up with some color to use. And then there you go. That's it. Just gotta draw a little white there. I'm not gonna show off shadow effects because it's super hard to do those. I'm not going to give it red. I'm going to actually make it look nice. Um, this is how I, I usually do it when I do it. There we go. And as you can see, we just got to draw the feet. And the feet, like anything else, can be any color you want, but... Make sure it's something that fits. I'm gonna make it look like the feet are usually the hardest part um, for Kirby's, in my opinion, especially with the shadow effect, which is why I didn't choose to do it. And there we go. Let's finish this video up before time runs out. There you have it. And that's a good example of how I draw those. The end. Thanks for watching, and subscribe. The end.